What's going on? It's your boy Luke Man coming your way again this evening. This evening, what we are going to be discussing, or rather, what I'm going to show you before I go to sleep, is something I found that is very, very cool with Click Funnels. So, if you use Click Funnels and use Click Funnels for, yeah, let's say you use Click Funnels for your uh, webinars and stuff like that, you know, like how you come on webinars and instantly, especially those recorded webinars, and you have that button that says, join this class right now or join this uh mastermind right now or buy this right now for me if i land on a page for a webinar and that's the first thing i see it kind of takes me back i really don't want to watch the rest of the webinar so but what you want to do for the most part is to delay the appearance of that button if you're able to delay the appearance of that button so whatever is on the webinar has consumed your content before the web before the button shows up that to me is very cool and it tends to convert a lot because if someone does not wait until the point where the button shows up they're not really interested in whatever you're saying but if they're interested in whatever you're saying they're gonna wait until maybe towards the end when you make the offer on the webinar and that to me especially for recorded webinars is when the button should show up and this evening i'm going to be showing you guys how to delay the button on your funnel so you do not piss people off you know when they get get when they land on your funnel they get to consume the content and after that you show them the button and that's what we're gonna i'm gonna be showing you just give me a second and i will get us started for you all right so let's log into click funnels um well actually i think i have it right here um and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm actually talking about so we're in click funnels right now uh let me go back in here sorry i was messing around with some optimization earlier so that's why you see that so we're in click funnels right now i'm gonna go to one of the funnels that has a webinar on it and let's say this is the webinar room right here and someone comes over here to land on the page all right it's loading it's uh so someone comes over here they land on this page they're going to consume this webinar i do not want them to see this button right away where it says join the mastermind right now right because they really have not consumed my content i would rather want to delay this button until they consume the content and so the way to do that let me go back way to do that you're going to click on this get button go to advanced and you're going to go to animation right so there are two ways to do it uh to start with i'm going to take this off so if you just wanted to you know the button to appear you're going to specify like how many minutes during the webinar or towards the end of the webinar do you want the button to appear so what i usually do is i would know how many how many minutes is my video right the webinar how many minutes is it then I'm gonna base that on when I really want them to, because at that point they would have consumed most of my content, and that's when I really want them to make a decision to join the uh, uh, the group or the the membership site, as the case may be. So let's say let's let's uh, pretend to see if, uh, this whole webinar is nine minutes, all right? It's ten minutes, and I want the button to come right on ten minutes. I, I mean, it's ten seconds rather, and I want this uh, this button to show up at ten seconds, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave 10 seconds right here. I'm zero minutes and 10 seconds, and I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna save that. Always remember to save. I'm gonna preview in incognito window because I do not want to clog up my uh, search bar. So here's what happened. So they come over here. You see that button is not there because I delayed that button, right? So I'm gonna say play. You're gonna see what happens. See? It comes right now in 10 seconds so that to me is really powerful because that allows people to really uh, consume your uh, content before you ask them to join let's let's go back and try this again I'm gonna put 20 seconds because sometimes you know when I'm watching some videos too on some tutorial I need the person to do it again so I can get it right so I'm gonna go to advanced remember you would have added the button anyway right you would have added the button element customize the button whichever way you want it you know write whatever you want to be on the button whatever of course make sure you set your button to submit or go to the uh, website or go to so in my own case I wanted to go to this particular website right but I want to delay the appearance of that button until the content has been somewhat you know consumed before 
the person can be asked to join uh, whatever I have that I want to have them join so click on the gear button right here we're gonna go to advanced click on animation I'm gonna set so this time around my entire video or my tutorial is I'll say 15 seconds right I want this to appear in 50 seconds 15 seconds I'm gonna save it then I'll preview so again this shows up the button is not there the button is not there and guess what see what happened in 15 seconds the button is not there now the button is there right and when you click the button it takes them to where I wanted to take them to that to me guys is extremely extremely powerful and again you can actually animate this a little bit but one thing that you need to understand when you try to animate this button is this all right over here you see when it says animation I say zero I mean I say none but I really if I really do want to animate this I'm gonna put say like a page on page load right and I'm gonna so it says 1000 over here every minute is a thousand every minute is equal to a thousand milliseconds or whatever that means so if I want this to appear in 15 seconds that will be 15 multiplied by a thousand what does that give me that is 15,000 right so which is the same thing as the 15 seconds every seconds is a thousand that's what I mean every seconds is a thousand so I'm using 15 seconds that will be 15,000 seconds because if you do not do that if you do not have this set, as soon as the person, uh, you know, gets on the page, it's going to show the button. So, and that's for you if you really want to animate the button. If you do not want to animate the button, just click none. Just click none, and this whole thing disappears, and you just have to deal with this. But if you want to animate the button, you want to make sure that you set this uh, on page load. Make sure that you calculate, do the calculation, you know, every seconds, every seconds is equal to, is equal to a thousand. I believe a uh, thousand uh, uh, ms whatever that is uh, so save that all right again the button is now here so we're gonna wait for 15 seconds while the video is playing and it should show up if we did it right bam so it just because I mean the animation just makes it a little a little more soft too, right? So and that's what you really want to do. I hope I I hope this uh, video has helped you. If you have any questions, do not forget to uh, uh, send me a message or leave a comment below. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel because I give you a lot of values that I do. I don't want you to be going all around searching for answers to all these questions, especially if you are very busy and you are. Uh, probably working on the phone and you just want to make it so beautiful and you want to add some of these things to it I do not want you to start going all around trying to see how you can get it done so that's why you come to this channel get whatever you need but the, but the only thing you can do for me is to ensure that you leave a, a love you know down there and of course you know a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions and if you do not have if you don't have click funnels yet there's gonna be a link below this video where you can actually get a trial for 14 days and if you do that, if you do get ClickFunnels for 14 days and you get trial, just send me an email at lookman at viradmedia.com. I'm going to give you 15 additional funnels, 15 done for you funnels if that I use in my, uh, for my clients and those that I use in my agency. I'm going to give you 15 proven funnels and I'm also going to, I'm also going to invite you to our uh, advanced uh, traffic and conversion mastermind where people pay over one hundred ninety seven dollars a month to be part of it I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give you admission into that for free if you decide to take click funnels and that would happen after the 14 days so if you have questions do not forget to send me a message and I hope this has helped someone um, on these notes I'm gonna be heading out you have a lovely day